Hey everybody, welcome back. So in this video, I want to show you how to use the new Dash Panelem uh, community component that allows you to take pictures, panoramic pictures or sphere pictures, and connect them together to create a kind of a tour, right? Similar to what you see with um, Google Maps, where you can create tours of streets, of uh, factories, of uh, houses, apartments, really anything you want. So this is the code that I have right here to create this tour. I put it on GitHub. If you want to follow along, I'm going to share this uh, code uh, under the YouTube video. Um, and we're going to uh, explain what most lines of code here mean. In addition to that, I also put this app on Pi Cafe. Uh, where you can see the code on the left and the app on the right. I'll share the screen to the app, um, the link to the app under the video so you can uh, hopefully interact with it as well. Now, the only difference, there's one main difference between the code here online and uh, the code on uh, GitHub. The code on GitHub or my computer uh, has the images in the assets folder. You see here the assets folder. Um, that I download that I put on my computer. If you click on street A, G, JPG, you'll get the image. Now, I could not use the assets folder on uh, Pi Cafe. I could build an assets folder. I could drag the photos right here where it says drag and drop. However, the pictures are too big. Each, peak, it, each picture is like 10 megabytes. So it wouldn't allow me to use uh, the pictures here. So I instead of using an assets folder, I uploaded the pictures to IMG uh, BB, which is uh, free up to a certain amount of uh, megabytes, I think, or pictures. Um, oh, here it says 32 megabyte limit. So this is where I put my pictures. And um, uh, and then the link to the pictures I put right here. You see, AB, AB. So in total, we have three pictures, three different scenes. We call them in Dash Panel this first picture, then we'll go here. And then we have this second picture. And then this third picture. All right? Each picture is called a scene. So if we go to the GitHub code, which is on my uh, computer, let's go right here. Let's put this on the side. Let's look at what we have here. We'll close our project. All right. So first we import all the libraries that we need. We instantiate dash. And then we build our, our configure, right? Our config uh, dictionary. Once we have the config dictionary, which is going to be the main part of our tutorial, we just create the layout. As you know, in Dash, you create a layout like this. And inside our div, inside our page, we're going to put our Harlem tour example title. And then we'll just put the Dash Panelum um, component. We'll give it an ID in case we want to use it later in a callback. Uh, we'll put the config dictionary right here. We'll assign it to the tour property and we'll um, we'll say show center dot. You see this red dot right here. We're going to show center dot true custom controls. I think is the plus minus um, and uh, expand. I think that's the custom controls. I didn't check with height auto load in the compass. You'll see right here. There's a compass on on the bottom right. You see this compass right here. Um, that is something that's um, you put true or false if you want to see it. Uh, and that's it, right? So really what we need to focus on is the config file. Now, the config file is built from the default scene. So we're going to say we're going to build the scenes here. We have three different scenes, but the default scene is going to be street A, right? If I fresh refresh my app, this is a default scene, the scene from scene F from street A. Now you'll see three different scenes here. The first one is called Street A, like here. Now let's see where this picture is coming from. Let's do plus. Now to define a Street A, we have to say we'll give it a title. So we'll say here at the bottom, Street A with a capital S. The HFUV is uh, really how zoom in or zoom out it is by default. So if I put uh, um, HFUV, um, 50 or let's do 30 we'll see that it's more zoomed in once the app reloads see it's a lot more zoomed in 
And if I do uh, pitch, uh, pitch is height, is up and down, and yaw is right and left. So if I do pitch minus 70 and yaw 50, we're going to see that it's going to go down and it's going to go to the right, the initial screen. See, we just went down. You can see my beautiful shoes and it went to the right, right? It's not in the center anymore. The yaw is 50 and the pitch is minus 70 like this. So you can control the initial view however you want. Let's reset this. But just remember, pitch is up, down. Yaw is right, left. Then type uh, equirectangle, which I think is um, one of the only ones I've used. Um, if you want to see more about these uh, properties and options, just go to the link here, the component, which I'll add under the video, and you can read more about the different options right here. All right. And then we add our we add our um, image, right? It's a JPG image. It's a it's a sphere picture that I took with my uh, smartphone, uh, where you can see pretty much uh, everything, right? And I it comes from the assets folder that we put right here, assets folder. So in the, in the same directory as my app.py file. Auto load true. And let's look at one last example. Let's go to street AB. So if I go here to this arrow, now I'll see street AB. It's between street A and street B. I just called it street AB, right? So this is the scene, street AB. It's the official ID, you can say. Title is between street A and B, as you can see here, the title in the bottom left. H of 100, so it's zoomed out. Yaw zero, so it's right in the middle, not right, not left. There's no pitch. I didn't define pitch here, so probably pitch by default is zero. Uh, here is uh, my image, AB, and then we have the hotspots. Now the hotspot, I'm going to go back to scene A. Let's refresh, and here we're in scene A, in street A, scene A. The last thing you need to know, and probably one of the most important things, is a hotspot. Hotspot is where you can add your arrow, right? Right here. So the arrow is where it's going to um, take you like the next scene. So in the arrow, if you hover over it, we'll see the, the text is between street A and B. So here you see the text. This is in street A. We'll have the, the one arrow and it's going to say between street A and B. The scene ID is not a text. It's not a style. It's the next scene, right? This is going to define what is going to be the next scene, the next image, right? So it has to be spelled correctly and it has to be exactly, it can only be one of these two scenes because we only have two more scenes. So this is going to be the next scene. Type is a scene. Uh, so far I've only used uh, scene types. Yaw is 2 and pitch is 2.1. That's why if this is the center, remember the red dot is the center. You'll see on line 23 that the, the yaw is two, so it's a little bit to the right of the dot, and the pitch is minus two, so it's a little bit below the dot. Zero, zero would be exactly here, like that. All right? So let's look at one more example. If we go straight, now it will take us to scene uh, street AB, which is this next scene right here. And this next scene right here, we already went over this, so we'll just go over the hotspot. And this hotspot section, we have two hotspots, two dictionaries, meaning two arrows. One here that will go to street B, the last scene, and one here that will go to back to street A. So what's cool about this, this is very similar to the first hotspot above here. The pitch is going to be zero here. The next arrow right here, the pitch is zero. The yaw is minus one, so it's probably a little bit to the left originally. If we refresh and go back to scene B, see it's a little bit to the left of the of the center dot, one minus one. The, the text is going to be street B, see the text. And the scene ID is going to be street B, right? The, next, the, the final image is going to be street B from here. Now the cool thing is, um, if you want to put the arrow in a different place, we'll go here, the next arrow, the pitch is 180. So it's it's almost like it's exactly, the, uh, if you go all the way around 180 degrees, all the way up and then all the way down, 
here's our next arrow 180 with a text street a the scene will be uh, street a right here from above this scene street a and if we go back here we'll see that the um, last thing you need to know is the target yaw the target yaw means that as soon as I go back here the initial viewpoint is going to be 180 degrees to the right. So if I go right here, the next scene, street A, now it's 180 degrees to the right. You see, this is exactly behind us, right? Remember this, remember this. This is 180 degrees from the from where the image, the center point starts, right? So if we refresh, we'll see that this is the initial viewpoint. Zero yaw, initial viewpoint. But here we're saying when we go back to street A from the middle of the street, from street AB, when we go back, we want the target yaw not to be a zero, we want it to be at 180, and like that. All right? So um, I know I went over a lot of information. Uh, if it was a bit confusing, uh, I would watch the recording again. It's a relatively short recording. Uh, if you have uh, other questions after watching, definitely join the Charming Data platform, uh, going to charming-data.com, where we go over different uh, videos and um, data visualization and AI uh, techniques and tutorials. You can connect with me, with me there through a direct message. Um, but all in all, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot. And always remember, we're better together, so help each other out.